What's happening everybody? This is Boosted Yeti coming to you with a video today um, with some modifications for the truck uh, for an F-150. I was sent something by uh, Rail Hooks and I wanted to give you guys a little video of it. So currently I'm rocking the Royal Shackles from uh, Royal Hooks as you can see there. They kind of hang down a little bit and these are mounted with a Rough Country um, shackle bracket. Okay, So Royal Hooks was cool enough to send me their new billet enhanced tow hooks, uh, specifically for the F-150s. And so they sent me them in powder coated white with two different sized spacers, as you can see. So I don't know if when you actually get them, if both size spacers will be included with the package or if you have to buy those separate, but they sent me both sizes because not all bumpers will take um, just the tow hooks as they are. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to use at least one of those spacers, either the small or the big one to get it to clear so it doesn't contact that when I install them. So we'll go ahead and get these uh, Royal Royal hooks off and then put the new um, billet enhanced tow hooks on and see how they look. And I'll kind of go through the installation along with that. And also, I just gotta say, these things are incredible looking. Like the powder coat finish on them is awesome. And I think I'm really gonna like these a lot more because um, they're gonna stick straight out and not dangle down as much in front of the lift kit like these do. And these, these look awesome, but my wife's constantly giving me uh, crap for them, saying they look like nipple piercings on the front of the truck. So this should be a pretty decent upgrade. So to start, um, if your truck comes with stock brackets installed already, you're gonna have to remove them to install these new ones because they don't need the brackets, they just mount straight into your frame. And if you look down inside there, if I can get it to focus, you can't really see from here, but you have a nut this is actually um, built in, so that's not really just an independent nut. There's like a bracket that sits on top of it. It's uh, one solid piece with two um, basically nuts welded on, and you should be able just to take both those out and then drop this bracket out. So as you can see from the bottom, you have those. And so you should remove both of those. Those should stay put and not they won't spin because they're all connected to the plate that it's mounted to. And we should just be able to pull those straight out. There's the back. So as you can see, there's a significant difference in the length used to mount the uh, the bracket in. And so, it's to accommodate the spacer though. And even with it just flush against the frame, it doesn't um, bottom out like you won't go all the way up to where the, the bolt doesn't reach. So the, the longest bolt will still fit in there. Um, but I'm worried that let me pull the spacer out so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say that. Or not spacer, the bracket that holds these in. So that's what holds in these. So my only concern is that with this mounted, let's see. If you weren't running any spacers or you didn't need to, you can see <clears throat> it's not going to, probably not going to go down and still hold that against your frame. I don't know if this is... To, it needs to be threaded more. We'll find out right now if I need to use um, the old to get it to mount without the bracket. Or am I sure which side goes up, which side goes down? Okay. I'm thinking it goes the beveled side up into the frame, if that makes sense. You can also mount it either way, it looks like, but I think the bevel side goes up into the frame instead of down. We'll double check it. All right, so come to find out you can't mount it bevel side up because the holes won't line up. So you're gonna have to mount it bevel side down to get this to work. All right, so I got it loosely fitted on there. And as you can see, it's gonna stick out about, or stick down about that much with the small bracket. And then I'm gonna do the larger bracket on the other side so you can see kind of the difference in how it's gonna look mounted. Did you come to help do the install? Awesome. So I forgot to mention because my wife actually brought it out here. It was that there's a smaller bag of hardware that I missed in the box for the smaller spacers. The larger um, hardware is for the larger spacers. All right, so I got it on there okay without uh, 
any problems. You just gotta really wrench on it a little hard and then it'll actually thread up through that bracket, no problem. As you can see, that's the height. And that's like the perfect distance. That's right where it needs to sit. So I'll mount the bigger bracket or spacer on that side and we'll see how it looks compared to that side. So instead of me mounting everything on there and you know, torquing everything down and jacking the, the powder coat on these up and taking it back off and redoing it, I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see the height difference between that side and this side uh, with the smaller versus the larger bracket or spacer. So as you can see, the height difference with the, the larger spacer on there. So it's just a little bit further down. But it's nice that they include that because some bumpers don't have such a forgiving cutout like this and you might actually need that to, to clear different type of bumpers. So this particular bumper, which is a Barricade um, Extreme HD off-road bumper, it clears it fine with actually no spacer at all. But I like having a little bit of a gap there. So, very accommodating. I like these things a lot. Another thing I forgot to mention is that for these um, bolts, it's actually a three-quarter inch slash uh, 19 millimeter socket head. So, keep that in mind. So, so you got to kind of punch it pretty hard to get it to punch through that top part of that bracket. straight but that's good I like that it's you know snug so I don't have to worry about these falling out or vibrations making it fall out on the old uh, shackles I was using I was using uh, lock washers to keep it from vibrating loose but with these they punch through the top of that bracket so well that it holds it in you don't have to worry about it coming loose so there you have the final end result and as you can see it looks pretty dang good with the uh the smaller of the two spacers on there with this particular bumper because it's just flush all the way across the bottom it sits right even with it the bottom of the bumper i like that a lot so we'll see how much they poke so don't really poke out the front very much at all if any they sit right even with the front of the bumper too so it turned out really good. Someone's killing a dog across the street. So that was look awesome. I dig them. So again, a huge shout out to Royal Hooks for sending me these to uh, try out and install. I'll throw this up on YouTube and tag them and their website so you guys can go check them out for yourself and get a pair. They're live on their website and they look awesome, easy to install. And uh, yeah, check them out. Thanks again, Royal Hooks.